beloved Princess Catherine hasn't been seen since Christmas, and people are starting to worry. Is this part of the plan, or is something bigger going on here? Kensington Palace may have totally botched their PR plan, but maybe this is something that Princess Catherine has done all along. Today I'm breaking down her mysterious disappearance, the wild conspiracies about where she is, and how maybe we can learn something so we can use it to our advantage. Welcome to The Swish, I'm Hannah, and here I explore trends, tradition, and lifestyle for an elegant and inspired life for young women looking for a little more than what modern culture feeds us. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe, and click the link in the description if you'd like to download my free ebook that dives into the four principles of elegance. Catherine, and I'm calling her Catherine because that is what William calls her, her family calls her, and she really has not been Kate Middleton since she married into the royal family and became the Duchess of Cambridge and then the Princess of Wales. Catherine has not been seen since December 25th, Christmas of last year. Early January, Kensington Palace released a statement that the Princess of Wales would be undergoing planned surgery and that she probably wouldn't be back until Easter. And the general public didn't think much of this at the time, except that she was going to be hospitalized for about 14 days. Now, while she was in the hospital, William, the King, and the Queen, they all visited her and were spotted there, especially because King Charles had other health concerns at the time, which we now know, sadly, is cancer. We later received word from the palace that her surgery had gone well, that she'd come home, and that she had had great surgery and she was recovering well. Now, I'm not going to speculate, and that's exactly what Catherine has asked us to do about her health. Her privacy is very important, as we'll get into here in just a bit. But I'm not going to say what I think is wrong with her. But seriously, it's clearly very concerning. So for a month or two, Catherine rested. She's been recovering totally in peace. We all know that she's had surgery. But that all changed this last week when Prince William decided to pull out of his godfather's memorial service in which he was supposed to do a reading about 45 minutes before the start of the event. Now, of course, this raised huge red flags. People were very concerned about Catherine. And so the palace released a statement saying that she is recovering very well. But that did not stop the internet from asking some serious questions and creating some bizarre answers for where she might be. I'm gonna share just a couple of these with you today because they're absolutely ridiculous. The first and most bizarre theory to come out, which really scared people who love Catherine, is that she is in a coma. A Spanish magazine announced recently that they had an inside scoop from a palace insider, of course that was sourceless, that shared that she was totally in a coma, they didn't know when she was going to come out, and it was very, very serious. People have taken it much further and said that Catherine has died and that the palace is waiting for the right moment to announce this, which we know is completely bizarre and absurd, and that's just not right. Royal cheating rumor has resurrected again, speculating that William and the rumored Rose Hanbury affair has gotten out of hand and that Kate has run off with a man in response and hasn't been seen since. We know this has been debunked so many times, but the thought of this, this couple having that problem is just completely absurd. The funniest tongue-in-cheek one that I've read is that Catherine has gotten lost at the Willy Wonka factory tour. If you've read about that, I can't get enough of that content. It's so funny. Uh, but people are saying maybe she went through, got her one jelly bean, and um, was scared by the unknown, and she hasn't been seen since. So that's true, I'd love to know. <laughs> Clearly it's not, but I think that's such a funny thing to think about. Speculation has also been made that she is on some new reality TV show, that she's on The Masked Singer, and that she won't be seen for months until the big reveal on the show, which is just such a funny idea to see Catherine singing, which I wouldn't be surprised. I bet she has an amazing voice. Others think this classically beautiful woman has undergone the knife to look like a Kardashian, and clearly that is not what she's done, but just the thought of it is incredibly humorous that Catherine would think she needs to go and get all of this work done. These theories are so wild, and there's so many more. <laughs> there's quite the rabbit hole to this, but any of these are just humorous. If it wasn't 
actually true that Catherine is dealing with a very serious and concerning ailment. In all reality, investigative journalist Tom Bauer, who released the book Revenge, which is a fascinating deep dive into Harry and Meghan, has shared a bit about his insight and Catherine's ailments. And he said that he knows what's wrong with her, that it's very serious, but she will make a full recovery, although she probably will be out of commission for a lot longer than we've been expecting. So Catherine is so fascinating and someone that I deeply look up to because she utilizes the elegance principle of subtraction routinely. And we see this here on full display. This really isn't the first time that Catherine has used the elegance principle of subtraction to point attention to the things that matter. Although she isn't new to revealing things about herself, this time it's very strategic. Catherine has so many patronages, charities, and causes that are pretty much the main reason that her role and the royals overall continue to exist. Her highlighting and bringing attention to these underrepresented groups is so vitally important and so much of what she does. But similarly to her mother-in-law and unlike her sister-in-law, Catherine always points the attention to the other person. She takes a subdued approach in public. She makes very strategic moves about what she shares and what she doesn't share. And the key here is that all elegant women do this. Catherine is famous for her hidden talents. It's always so fun to track and see what she's gonna come up with next. She will randomly walk on stage and play the piano or delight us all with her tennis talents, or suddenly show off her perfect sign language skills. The people's fascination skyrockets every single time this happens. She's creating this additional layer of interest and attraction, making people more interested in her. People are desperate to know more about the Princess of Wales, because she remains private and selective about her skills, talents, and plans. So many women today jump on the trauma dumping trends or they're chronically online posting and sharing every single thing that pops into their heads that has to be played for an audience online. And they're thinking that this is how they'll be seen as relatable or interesting and relevant but in Catherine, we see an entirely different approach, the classically elegant approach that leaves dramatic interest and impact. It's something that we all can learn from. Instead of oversharing and revealing absolutely everything about ourselves, Catherine here gives us an amazing reminder about the power of subtraction. Sometimes what's missing is the most interesting part. And frankly, that's elegance in a nutshell. When Catherine returns, I truly believe it's going to break the internet. People are going to see that she's okay, she's healed, she's happy, she's been with her family. Honestly, this time away has been really needed for her, especially with the type of attacks that she's been getting from her extended family across the pond. Catherine is an all-star rarely putting a foot out of line and is beloved for her commitment to her family and her commitment to tradition. She's someone that I personally look up to immensely and I wish her the speediest recovery. So where do you think that Catherine is? And how can we implement this law of subtraction in our lives even more to help create positive interest, impact, and relatability? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts or some funny conspiracies that I've left out here. You also can, of course, download my free elegance ebook in the description below. Just click on that link and I'll send it to you for free. Thanks for watching, everybody.